Hi my friends, we start the second series of Django REST framework. We made a video series that covers the basics of Django before. We were talking about more basic and uh, simple topics there. In this video series, we will talk about intermediate topics. If you haven't watched the previous video series, I highly recommend you to watch it. Without wasting time, let's get started right away. Our scenario in this series is that we will build a bookstore with DRF. Users will be able to list the books, add new books and add comments. We will talk a lot while coding. I will be giving details as much as I can. So let's create our project right away. I created a folder and I will open a termin terminal. Now I'm going to create my virtual environment. I use Ubuntu as the operating system, but if, if you are using Mac or Windows, this process will not differ. So let's activate the environment. And uh, I need to install Django and the Django REST framework. Let's create a Django project. Start project and uh, let's say bookstore, the name of our project. We have successfully created the project, as you can see here. Now go to inside the bookstore folder and uh, I create a Django app Python manage.py start app let's say books. Okay we have created what we need let's switch to editor. I use uh, Visual Studio Code, but you can use whatever you want. I will continue from the terminal in the editor, so I quickly activate my virtual environment again. The first thing we need to do is register the app we created and the REST framework inside the settings.py, I mean the inst installed apps. Let's say REST framework and the, the name of app books. Okay, I save it. Let's go to models.py. As you can see, there are red underscores here because we haven't introduced the interpreter to our editor yet. You need to introduce the virtual environment you have created to your editor. I click the bottom left and the enter interpreter path, click find. We will show the path manually. You need to go inside the environment folder, so env, inside env, go to bin folder and uh, find the python version, in my case python 3.8. So I choose it and select interpreter. As you can see the red underscores have disappeared. Now let's start creating our models. I will create two models. First is book so model start model. The second one is command. Now let's uh, create some fields for book model. Autonov add saves the creation date when a new book is created 
and the Otono saves the time whenever we make any changes to the related book. And uh, let's not forget to write str method. The first model is ready. So it's time to add some fields to a common model. First of all, we need a book to which our comments belong. I will use foreign key here. The logic of connecting with foreign key here is that a book can have more than one comment, but a comment can belong to only one book. If you don't know about, about this subject, you can watch the video I made about relationships. And now we need to determine what will happen when the book is deleted. We specify it with uh, on delete. I want the comments to be deleted when the related book is deleted. Because without the book, uh, the comments are useless. That's why we will write models.cascade. Let's continue. I also need a field to keep the information about the commenter. So let's say owner of comments. You could use a foreign key here, but I don't want to confuse you right now. We will see this in my third playlist that will include advanced topics. Okay, I save it and then I will add the str method. Okay, I save it. Now I go back to the admin and uh, register these models to see it in admin panel. I will import it. Okay, we did it. Now let's do the migrations. Python manage.py make migrations. Okay, we didn't get any error. Python manage.py migrate. We have successfully completed the migration. Now I will create a super user create a super user admin I will run the server ok I go to Chrome the Django project works and uh, let's go to admin panel. I will log in. Okay, we see the models here. I will add a book. This miserable boys, Victor Hugo, some description, the date, today, and time now. Okay, we added it, and uh, I will add some comments. Owner of command Mike Tyson, great book, and uh, I will add one more comment, Man Metali. This is really great book. I save it. Okay, everything works great. Now it is time to move on the REST framework part. We will now create the serializers. For this. I will create a folder, let's say API, we can proceed in a more organized way. I will do everything re related to API in this folder. So I will create a file, let's say serializers.py, 
and uh, I will import it from this framework and uh, I need models okay I will write the serializers using model serializer if you have problems with serializers you can watch the video I left the link above there are videos on that subject on my channel let's create serializer book serializer serializer start model serializer class meta model book and the fields all okay and now let's write the serializer for comments comment comment serializer serializer start model serializer same things okay we created the serializers let's go back to the models you know we used a uh, foreign key here we have examined these kind of relationships at at the first series but to put in briefly we were determining how we wanted to display the information related to the foreign key while creating the serializers for example if i want to show the book and the, the comments then belong to it i mean if i want to display it like this let me show you the name of book let's say let's miserables and the comments under it if we want to show the comments in this way which makes sense we, we need to send the comment while the books are being serialized so let's create a variable i will delete it let's create a variable but the name of this variable is important i return to my comments model and uh, i need to specify a related name here so let's say comments whatever name i i give to the re related name here i need to give it as the variable name in serializer so i wrote comments here i need to write comments here also i can now access my comments with the related name so let's say comment serializer since each book can have more than one comment a query set will be returned instead of an object so we inform django that a query set can be returned by typing many equal true okay we completed the serializers but we have an uh, underscore here but why because you know python is a single thread uh, programming language so python starts to read code from top to bottom so it will create the class book serializer okay no problem but when it uh, comes on the on the comments variable python cannot find the common serializer because it it didn't create it yet so if we put it under the common serializer we will solve this problem in this video we we created the serializers and models and uh, i will end the video here thanks for watching see you in the next video